I'm going to show you how to treat your kite leaders or chicken line with wax. The kind of wax I use is beeswax. Beeswax. And the reason I use beeswax is because if you use other kinds of wax, you can accidentally get the temperature too high. You want it to get stay below boiling, about you know 100 C to 12 F. Beeswax will start smoking, catch on fire, 190, a little bit above that. So you can't make it too hot. Uh, so you see right there, it's already starting to smoke. And it might actually just catch on fire if it gets too hot. So, yeah. There it goes. Now, how much do you need? Just enough, enough to, uh, to cover the, um, the line. It smells like honey. It smells delicious. So I got a couple of tablespoons in there, a little bit more. So you can see it quit smoking. Now it's down to around, you know, 140 or so. Turn up a little bit. And that's probably enough. And then you take your line and drop it in. You can use whatever wax you want. If you're using stuff that is not beeswax, you got to be careful with the temperature. If it gets too hot, you'll degrade the dynamo. So that's it. That's the treatment. And if you're in a cold weather climate like Michigan, that will add probably double the life. If you're in a warm area like uh, the equator or Mexico or someplace, uh, you probably don't want to do this because the mac the wax will not stay hard enough and it will get uh, soft and start attracting uh, sand. So that's the treatment. And I would not suggest using it for kite line because for kite line, we have a product that resists abrasion quite well. It's called Q-Power. And I have another video on how to make your Q-Power kite lines if you want to do that. What are you doing up there?